this is the Rode VideoMic Go 2, a perfect mic for YouTube videos, whether you're creating content like vlogs with your smartphone or camera, or you could plug in this mic to your computer or laptop using a USB cable and use this for live streaming or podcasting, but maybe you do talking head videos like this where you actually boom the mic outside of the frame, which is one way I love using mics like this. And so we're gonna be breaking down all the features, what you get in the package, and the price of the Rode VideoMic Go 2. So let's get into it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, and this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and YouTube, and we do that by sharing the best tips and tools on how to do so. Sometimes we're sharing YouTube strategy and the latest tactics to help grow your YouTube channel. Other times we talk about the best gear that you can use, especially if you are starting out, whether it's using your smartphone, a camera that's easy to use for beginners, or mics and lighting and things like that. So if you're interested, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when it comes to creating any kind of content, I really think this mic was geared for you. This is the Rode VideoMic Go 2, which is the second version of its kind. And I'll just start saying video mic from this point forward in the video, just so you know. But this mic comes in at around $100 and it truly can do everything as you saw in the intro. But when it comes to what it comes with in the package, just wanna break it down. You're gonna get the mic itself and you should just know that this is a super lightweight and compact mic, another reason why I like it. You're gonna get a windscreen to cover the mic, which is gonna help with a little bit of wind, but also any exterior noises and plosives, which is really nice. It comes with a really sleek 3.5 millimeter cable to plug into the mic itself and then your camera. And then it comes with a really high quality and sturdy shock mount. It's really important that a mic that you have is protected and doesn't move around. And this shock mount is really cool. And it also has a really cool design for the cable that you use to plug into the mic. It has this ability to kind of cinch down your cable. You know, you don't have to wrap it around the mic itself. You can actually just snake it through and then plug it into whatever device you would like to. Now, it is important to note that this mic does not come with a USB-C, although you can use a USB-C with this mic. Rode sells their own line of cords and things like that, and I'll talk about accessories later in the video. But just using any USB-C cable, it doesn't need to be name brand or anything like that, will work perfectly fine with a mic like this. Now this video was entirely shot using this mic, and so you've been hearing it in all the different scenarios, so you can get a real idea of how it sounds no matter how you use it. But I'd love to know uh, really right up front what you think about the sound quality of this mic, especially being $100. I think it's really awesome, but there's so much more to it than what it is at face value. I think it's really important to know that this is a super easy to use mic. So if you are a beginner at creating content, a mic like this is awesome. Simply plug it into whatever device you can think of. Like literally you can plug it into your computer, you could plug it into your smartphone, you could plug it into a tablet or a laptop. It is important to note if you plan on using this with your smartphone, you're gonna wanna use it with the USB-C option. So the way I use it with my phone is by using a USB-C to lightning adapter provided by Rode but it makes it super easy to use and you don't have to worry about anything. You could boom a mic like this and maybe buy just a clamp so that the mic can be held in place or screw it onto a boom setup and then just run a really long cable into your camera from the boom setup. And this would be if you like doing talking head YouTube videos because putting a mic like this on top of a camera and putting it far away isn't the best use. You kind of want it at arm's length distance. Right now I have it about three to four inches away from my mouth and you're gonna get a really nice high quality sound. But you can also boom it or put it on a desk and use it with a computer, laptop, or tablet. Like legit any device this mic works with, which is what I love. I love equipment that you could buy and actually grow with. You know, it's it's easy to use right up front, plug and play wise, and then you can actually use it for more things that you wanna grow into, like live streaming and things like that. Another thing that makes the Rode Video mic so easy for beginners is that it doesn't have any batteries, nor does it need to be charged for. It takes whatever power from the device you have it plugged into to be able to operate, which is super cool and convenient. The Rode Video Mic Go 2 is a condenser mic, meaning this mic will pick up general audio from its general vicinity. A dynamic mic like we've made in the past with like USB mics and things like that will really cut out a lot of noise coming out around the mic, which is really nice and what a lot of people need if they're in an echoey environment or what have you. A mic like this, you can actually put a little bit further away than a dynamic mic and it'll still pick up good audio if you just adjust your input audio gain levels as needed. But putting the mic up to your mouth like this really close makes it kind of sound like a dynamic mic because it's capturing all the richness from my mouth 
and because it's so close, it is cutting out a lot of the exterior noise that you would hear if this mic was further away from my mouth because I got the AC running, blasting because it's like 110 degrees outside in Las Vegas, but you don't really hear it because it's right next to my mouth and it's capturing the sensitivity of my voice. And I do like how natural condenser mics sound overall in comparison to a dynamic mic. Now you can really maximize the potential of a mic like this by accessorizing it. I think if you plan on using this mic outdoors, you can invest in the Rode WS12, which is simply their wind muff or what you would call a dead cat. This would replace the windscreen that comes in the box. However, it'd be able to withstand uh, high winds and really any scenario you may find yourself in outside. And so if you plan on vlogging outside, maybe doing adventures and things like that, having a windscreen like that would be really key. And what's cool about this kit is it actually comes with this little rubber that you can use to cover whatever port you're not using. So if you plan on plugging this into your camera, you can cover the USB cable so you don't get anything in there, which I think was really cool. But I definitely think it's worth the investment if you plan on vlogging with a mic like this. You can also accessorize a mic like this with a boom arm setup, whether you clamp it to a desk and do live streams or podcasts and things like that. Uh, you don't need a heavy duty one as the mic is super light. You just wanna make sure you have the right accessories to go with your mic arm just so that you can mount this mic. And we'll post links down to everything I'm mentioning down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. But definitely using the mic that way is super cool. And then in this setup, I kinda just have it on a Manfrotto vlog stand that I use for my smartphone setup. But I like this because the ball head allows me to you know, change the angle of the mic as needed. But I literally use this vlog stick for like my smartphone and things like that, so it's very versatile in that nature. But literally, I just wanted to paint the picture of all the ways you can use a mic like this. And just when you thought that was everything you can do with this mic, it does even more. When you buy this mic, you get access to Rode's free software is they got the Rode Connect app, the Rode Central app, and the Rode Reporter app. These apps are available on computer laptops or even uh, tablets. Uh, but the Rode Connect app, uh, simply put, will allow you to capture high quality audio. Simply plug in this Rode mic into your device and you can capture uh, great sounding audio as well as tweak some things a little bit. The Rode Central app will be the place where you either update the firmware of your microphone as well as adjust some settings like the input gain or if you wanna change like the high pass or low pass or uh, take away some uh, features in that sense. But what's also cool about the Rode Central app is that you can actually change the mic jack of this mic into a a headphone jack, so having audio signals sent out, and now you can monitor your audio, really making this mic like a mini interface, but it's all in one and it all comes when you purchase this mic. And the fact that this mic is only $100 or so really makes this one of the best mics for the budget with all that it can do. And so you may not ever go that route and use it for those things, but to know that a mic like this can do so really makes it one of the best mics of all time. Like I literally have been testing mics for like, more than four or five years, especially when Sean was testing mics. And I've never seen a mic that's not only easy to use, but also has so much potential to use it for other use cases like the Rode Video Mic Go 2. And so if you plan on looking for a mic that could kind of do it all, I would say this would be the mic to get, especially if you are looking for a budget option. Now, one thing that this mic can't do is act like a lavalier mic. Obviously, I can't clip this onto my shirt, but if you are looking for a wireless mic solution that maybe you can clip on your shirt or what have you, you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen or check out another video from us here at Think Media. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace. <music>